Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, I'll be going through SS Anne and getting HMO 1 cut. Now before I do that, I actually want to catch my next Pokemon. I said this in the last episode that I was going to do that wrong place, I want to go in my butt bag. But I said I was going to do this last episode, I was going to get a new Pokemon with the old rod. And we're going to do just that right now. And I think I pressed B a little too soon there, or A. D no, okay there we go. <laughs> I'm not very good at fishing, but yes, if you guys already guessed, we're going to get a Magikarp now. I'm not going to keep Magikarp, of course, like at its first evolution, but I'm definitely going to evolve into a Gyarados later on. So we don't need to damage it. We will kill it if we do, so I'm just going to throw a Pokeball to Magikarp. It should uh, be able to get caught in one try. Perfect. Nice. So we got our Magikarp. Now, I don't exactly have a name for this thing. I actually have to think of one right now. Um, no, I got one. I got one, guys. We're gonna name it Roshi. Now, I know he's not a turtle or something, so that in that sense it doesn't make sense, but he kind of has a mustache like Master Roshi, so we're gonna do that. Roshi, the Magikarp, finally got our third Pokemon. I'm very happy about that. Um, I don't know if I actually have to heal all my Pokemon before we actually go into No, we do not. So I'm gonna go in the SSN. I'm not gonna use Roshi just yet. Um, I don't think I'll use him this episode, maybe switch him back and forth through um, the battles, but it's going to be hard level grinding him, that's for sure, because Magikarp's not really the easiest person to level grind with. But after you do whatever you want to do in Vermillion City, just come down to the bottom, go into through the entrance of the SSN, give the man the ticket. Make sure you have the ticket before you come in here, because he won't allow you in, of course. You need a ticket to get on his ship. But yeah, so we're going to fight the first trainer in here, and I'm actually going to try this out for one battle just see how long it takes uh switch roshi in and out because i don't want to be splitting up the xp is nice but i'd rather train him up in the wild a little bit and then like uh make him be able to battle on his own without him getting help from my other pokemon so the first trainer in here is going to have two growlists he's going to have uh two level 18 growlists at that so if you don't have a water type or something, just bring maybe a strong flying type like me. Make sure you don't put any grass types or anything against these guys or steel types because they will die in one shot from an ember or most likely uh, maybe two shots or so. So I'm just going to go for a peck right here. I should be able to take out the Skrallus in one shot and nice we got a critical hit. We will take that. Roshi's going to go up to level 6 already. Maybe level 7? Nah, not going to happen. But we're going to switch out one more time into Roshi. Um, this is actually... Uh, beneficial for Roshi and Pharaoh because Pharaoh won't get its attack lowered by Intimidate which is nice so we'll be able to one shot the Growler. So we're gonna switch back into my Pharaoh now. This is a great way to train up a Pokemon that is low level if you just caught it by the way guys. If you don't have the EXP share or something. So make sure you do do this if you wanna if you don't want to level grind in the wild or something. Uh, it is kind of... Oh, we're going to get roared out right here. Back into Magikarp. Actually, does Magikarp have... No, he only has Splash. But, yeah, it's super good. It's a super good way to level grind. So, I'm just going to come back into my Robin right here. Roaring me out was a douche move, man. You, couldn't, you can't do that to me, man. So, let's just go for a peck and take out this Growlithe. And that's pretty much it. So, Roche is going to go up one more level. Leveling him up quite nicely, quite, quite easily. It's going to take him a while to get up to the same level as Ivysaur and stuff, but, yeah. So, if you guys want to heal up and not go back and forth to the Pokemon Center, just come into this room and talk to this girl. She'll uh, let you lay down in her bed, I guess, and then rest up your Pokemon. I wonder, what you, I wonder what you're doing in that bed there, Red. Are you okay, man? So, we're going to fight the next trainer here. Um, it is another, like, gentleman. So, he's going to have a Nidoran female and male, and they're both going to be level 19. It shouldn't be too hard of a battle. I actually, I think this will be the last time I do this with Roshi. I just wanted to try it out because it's taking a little longer than uh, it would normally take just to get through all these trainers. So I'm going to send out my Robin again. Venusaur or Ivysaur won't be able to do anything to these Nidorans just because they are poison types. So grass moves won't take them out. Like, it'll take around three hits or so to have to take these two Pokemon out. So I don't want to do that. I want to be able to cut through these guys with Peck. Uh, Pharaoh's not going to go up a level just yet. He's close though. Almost, I think he's one level away from being the same level as Ivysaur, so 
All we gotta worry about, all we have to worry about at this point is really training up my Magikarp to the same level. Because we don't want to have them like separated like one Pokemon level 10 or something and another super high level. We're gonna get poison by poison point, dang. I think that's happened like three times in the last two episodes or so. That's really unlucky, but it doesn't matter. Um, I can heal up, so I'm actually... Nah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't take that long to heal up here. So I'll just... I won't cut it out. It's not like in the Pokemon Center when it takes forever to go in and out and then heal. Because Nurse Joy doesn't make you stand there for like... Th I think it's three seconds or so that it takes, but... Anyways, I don't know if this is a trainer. It might just be somebody... Yeah, it's just gonna... She's talking about a cherry pie or something like that. And before we even continue on, I'm gonna switch out Roshi right here and bring out my Fero. I don't want to use Light Bulb because there's a lot of Pokemon that Light Bulb is actually weak against in this ship right here. And there's nothing really in this part. I don't exactly know where the trainers are, I just know that there's a bunch of items and trainers that you could fight. So, this is gonna be another trainer right here, Trainer Tyler. And our youngster Tyler, he's gonna have a Nidoran which is level 21. These battles are definitely get a, getting a little bit harder here, that's for sure, so we have to be on our guard and not worry about these Pokemon too much. We should be able to beat them up with Peck, though. Our Pharaoh has been doing pretty good so far, and we're going to get poisoned again! That's so unlucky. It looks like I might have to heal up after this battle right here. Maybe in the next two battles or so I'll heal up, because we're still at full health, so it doesn't really matter. But Peck's going to take out Nidoran right here. Pretty easy battle. Had to go for focus energy and waste turn himself. And we're almost up to level 26. So, I don't know what item this exactly is. I think this might be uh, Brick Break right here, so... Brick Break is... I don't know if I was saying this earlier, but... It's a super good fighting type move to actually teach to any... I don't know, Mankey, if you have Mankey at this point. And then, you can also teach it to your Pikachu, I'm pretty sure, if you really want to. Um, and even if you want to teach it to Char your Charmeleon or Charmander. It's a really good fighting move, and... You can keep it on for the rest of the game. Um, it breaks screens as well, that's another little effect it has. So if someone sets up light screen or reflect, you could uh, use brick break and then break off, break down the screens, which is nice, so they won't get that defense or special defense boost anymore. Now, she's gonna bring out another Nidoran. Um, this shouldn't be too hard to take out. This Pokemon where's gonna go for a peck again, like we've been doing for most of these battles. Double kick! This actually, no, it's not even close to taking us out. I don't even know why I even thought. It is neutral damage though, so it's not like it's not very effective. It looks like we will have to heal up at this battle, so I'm actually going to uh, heal up our Pokemon after we get this item. So we're gonna take down this trainer, and I th hopefully this is Brick Break, I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's gonna be TM31 Brick Break, so if you wanna pick it up, that, that'll be nice. And I'll see you guys in a bit after I heal up my Pokemon. Okay guys, I healed up my Pokemon. We're actually going, going to go into the bottom floor of the SSN next. Uh, we are going to travel through everything, and I think there might actually be an item in here. Yeah, if you want to pick up a Hyper Potion, definitely go click A on that trash, ca trash can. I don't know why someone would even throw out that uh, Hyper Potion. Like, a Hyper Potion? That's pretty useful. Heals 200 PP or 200 HP. Now, if you want to pick up a Super Potion as well, you could steal this man's Super Potion. <laughs> That's so stupid that they allow you just to, like, take it from that guy's room. It's kind of weird, in a way. You're like stealing. So there's two trainers in here. Uh, one's named Duncan, one's named Leonard. So this trainer right here is actually going to have a level 17 horsey at the start of the battle. Then the, pretty much all of these guys are going to be water type trainers on this floor. So if you want to bring out your electric types like a Pikachu or your Bulbasaur or something, you definitely can do that, get some levels up. I actually might change into my Ivysaur for this one floor on the SSN just because everything's pretty much gonna be weak to my Pokemon except for the last trainer that we go up against who has a Machoke but that's like in the room to the far left of this little floor in the SSN so I'm just gonna keep going for packs right here we should be able to take out the shell there in two shots he's gonna go for a supersonic though confuse us okay Robin I believe in you don't get confused here don't hit yourself you're not that stupid not you're that stupid okay I never get lucky with that, and he's gonna go for a nice close cool here, so Robin actually might die here if he hits himself next turn. And if he hits four, five times, which he doesn't, so it looks like we're fine. Um, I'm just gonna go for another protect, or a pack right here. Come on, Robin, you got this, nice. 
So, Shelter's not gonna die though! What are you doing? He even got a critical hit. He's got the hacks in him, that's for sure. Okay. And Robin's gonna hit himself, that's unlucky. Robin actually might die here if he goes for high school sphere, which he doesn't. I'm gonna switch in my Ivy Story here though, just because I don't want Robin to die just yet. Um, there's no point of losing him. I don't even know if any of my Pokemon have died yet um, in this whole series that I'm doing. I don't think anyone's had, had a down. Maybe Robin once, but I don't think Lightbulb has ever had a down, which is actually quite cool to, to see how I, my Pokemon aren't dying. I'm actually being kind of careful with them. So he's going to have a Tentacool. His last Pokemon, level 17. We should be able to take out Tentacool in two shots. He is also a Poison type, so it's only going to be doing neutral damage uh, Grass type moves. He's water poison, so watch out for that. Poison Sting won't poison you, so you don't have to worry about that because you're poisoning yourself. And Tentacle's going to go down. Now, I'm going to switch out into my Ivysaur now, just because I don't want to heal up again. And Ivysaur should be able to get a lot of levels up in this little floor here. So we're going to switch out Robin. And there we go. And the next trainer is actually going to have a Shelter, which is level 21. Now, this might be a little bit challenging for us. It depends on how much Icicle Sphere does. Uh, we'll see though, we'll see. He is a high level, so he's almost, he's like four levels down from us. We're almost level 27 now. Vine Whip might be able to take him out in one shot, yeah, because Shelter is a defensive Mon, and Vine Whip is a special attacking move. So we're going to go up to level 27 here. Nice. Light Bulb is almost ready to evolve. I think he evolves at level 30 or 32. So we're pretty close to that level, around five-ish levels, uh, three-ish levels away, which is nice. So... Did we actually skip? I don't even remember. No, we picked up the Super Potion here. I thought we skipped this room. But we're going to come into the next room right here. This, I think there's five rooms in total. And we're going to fight a trainer right away. So this trainer right here has three horsies on his team. All level 17. So it shouldn't be too hard. They're only... I'm pretty sure horsey's only a water type right now. He's not a dragon type. So you don't have to worry about grass moves or something not being super effective and we're gonna get a critical hit nice it, okay it looks like they're only water types which is good for our ivysaur right here gonna be halfway up to level eight or level 28 by the end of this battle right here which is nice gonna keep going for vine whips horsey is not really the greatest pokemon in the world once it evolves into Seedra or something like that it definitely becomes or kingdra even uh, kingdra is a pretty good dragon Water type, mostly if you can get that focus energy, and uh, I forget what special ability is called, but other than that, it's not the greatest Pokemon in the world. So, we're gonna take down this horsey one more time, or another one one more time, and I think he has one more. No, we took out three, nice. Ivysaur is just cutting through these water types right here, so if you come over here after this battle, you will be able to pick up an ether, which an ether heals up your PP that you have used, so if you don't have any PP left in your Vine Whip and you use the Aether, you can definitely, definitely uh, get some more PP in there without having, having to go to the Pokemon Center or healing up in, I don't know, a room like in the SSN that we have here or something like that. I don't recommend wasting them right now. If you really have to and you can't heal up at a certain moment in this, in the game, uh, you could definitely use it, but I recommend keeping them until the Elite Four, just because you're not able to heal up in the Elite Four. You, it's five consecutive battles that you have to go through, so it can get pretty hard sometimes. If you use up all your PP at once, then you might be screwed if you don't have any Ethers or something. So we're going to take out this Tentacruel right here, and this trainer only has a star you left on his team, so it's level 18. We shouldn't have too much trouble with this. We defeated Misty's level 18 star you. I think it was level 18, so... We definitely beat this thing with a Razor Leaf, and we're even going to get a critical hit, which is nice. So, sorry he's going to go down, and we're almost at level 28 now. Uh, there's two more whole trainers in this little floor right here, but before we do that, I'm going to pick up the TM for Rest. Now, Rest can be pretty useful, mostly if you have berries on your Pokemon, so if you want to pick up that, it's a super good move. Um, if you want to use some strategy here and there. So we're going to fight Barney right here, the Fisherman, and he's going to have three Pokemon on his team. A Staryu, Shelter, and Tentacruel. Or not Cruel, Cool. I think I've been saying Tentacruel this whole time. Uh, it's kind of a habit because I don't really use Tentacruel at all. Usually I'll use a Tentacruel in competitive and I'll just say that name. I won't say it's first evolution. So we're just going to go for some Razor Lease right here. We'll be doing neutral damage because he is a 
poison water type. He's gonna go for some confuse hacks. And hopefully we don't hit him ourselves. Okay, we're gonna hit ourselves. Ourself, that's fine. We're gonna get poison sting as well. I'm not gonna poison us, of course. And we're gonna snap out confusion right away. Nice. Ivysaur is way better than Pharaoh at the moment. Ivysaur is not gonna get hit by or be hitting himself. Way smarter than the bird on our team. We're gonna go up to level 28 here. Going up levels quite fast actually. Um, throughout this little floor in SSN. Now he's gonna bring out his shelter. It's gonna be level 17. Um, I kind of want to go for Leech Seed just to heal up, but I don't think it really matters. Um, his last Pokemon is going to be a Staryu, so it's not like we really have to. And then the Pokemon, actually the trainer after this might have a little more a little more of a challenge for us. He's going to have a little 20 with Chop. So maybe Ivysaur might have some troubles, but I doubt it, because we are level 28, and these Pokemon are pretty low level compared to us. It's good to actually fight all these trainers before you fight the next gym, though, just because uh, the next gym is going to be super hard. Um, Lieutenant Surge has some pretty strong Pokemon on his team, so make sure you level grind in this little area over here. So we're going to fight the final trainer here, going to be a, a Sailor, and he's going to have a level 20 with Chop, like I said earlier. Uh, again, Razorleaf should be able to take this thing out. If you have a flying type, you could use it as well, but... I kind of want to level up my light bulb a little bit here. Maybe get him up to level 29 before we go into the gym. Okay, he's going to go for Karate Chop, that's fine. Not so very effective because we are a Poison type, which is good. And Razor Leaf is going to take out this with Chop. So that's pretty much it for this little area right here after you take out those trainers and get those items. There's really nothing else to do. So I'm going to travel up to the... Actually, I think I might heal up. Um, I'm definitely gonna do that just cuz I don't want to lose any of my Pokemon in the middle of a battle or something and then like have to scurry back to the Pokemon Center so I'll see you guys in a bit okay guys I've healed up my Pokemon and instead of going up to the top floor right now there's actually one little area on this floor that we haven't actually looked through yet there's no trainers to battle so don't worry about that but if you look in these trash cans right here you'll find a few berries uh, Pacha berry a cherry berry and also a Chesto resto berry uh, I know it's not called Chester Resto, but it's usually used for waking up your Pokemon with uh, Rest. So if you pick up Rest and you also get um, that Chesto Berry, you could definitely use that combination. Use Rest and then you'll wake up because of the Chesto Berry. Also, you can pick up that Great Ball right there. 